Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Carlos, and welcome back to Brooklyn Fergus Slower. I'm here with Steven, Mr. Red <laughs> hey guys. Mr. Red Lessons, yet again. He's going to be a daddy soon. You're not tired of me? No. <laughs> Is your wife tired of me, though? <laughs> no, we're fine. We like having you over. Yes. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Of course. So, New Zenia. Yeah. New Zenia. It's called Aqua the Iris. Iris is one of my favorite notes ever. I mm -hmm. love Iris. All kinds of iris. I love the rooty iris. And... I love the powdery iris. I, I love. I just love iris, which is really kind of a fantasy note, really, because iris petals don't really have a smell. It's the root. Yes, it's the root. So auris and yeah. all that stuff. So we both listed um, Aqua de Bergamotto from Zenia on our summer list. Yeah, 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 that's right. That's right. We did not collaborate. It just happened that way. It did just happen <clears> that <throat> way. I love Aqua de Bergamotto, excuse me. Uh, I just think it's so crisp and light and, and fresh and inviting. And simple. 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 Yeah. Which is this as well. Yeah. They're not complicated. They're not stuffy or heavy. They're just meant to be simple, almost watery interpretations of the notes. Xenia, yeah. So uh, 2017 release, uh, they pride themselves of the fact that they use Calabrian bergamot, which is found in Calabria, Italy. And- uh, On their own farms. On their own farms. They yes. harvest it themselves. They distill <laughs> the essence themselves. And um, you smell it in there, right? It's, it's bright, it's fresh, but it also has this uh, iris note, of course, it, they say it's powdery. It's not really that powdery. So not. <laughs> it's not powdery. And uh, you picked up on an incense note in there. I do, but it's just like a gauzy, vague incense in the background. Yeah. yeah. Not outright incense at all. I know what you mean. Uh, there are spices listed as notes in here, more of like an accord. And to me, when I smelled it, I was like, oh, okay, it smells kind of boozy. But it doesn't smell boozy in the alcoholic sense of the word. Just, I guess the spices are kind of, they create that vibe. Mm -hmm. And it does have labdanum, which is a resin, and resins are incense. And it smells peppery on this right here anyway. It kind of does, yeah, it kind of does. It can definitely be compared to the original Dior Ohm for sure. It doesn't smell exactly like it, but it's definitely like, when you smell it, initially it's like, oh, Dior Ohm. Yeah. But they both go in different, ways in the dry down, I think. I would compare this one a little bit more to Dior Homme Parfum. Ah. Because the labdanum kind of has like the sweetness to it. I think so. I really think so. I believe you. That's all good. When I got my oh, package nice. of Dior Homme Parfum at work, I was so excited. Uh, I got the uh, bottle from Sebastian at Looking Feeling Smelling Great. Oh, cool. And um, I arrived at work. I couldn't wait to smell it. I put it on, I go up on the floor, and, and the cashier said to me, I'll never forget this, Carlos, she's one of my grandmother. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. This doesn't have the denseness of Dior Homme Parfum or, or, or Dior Homme. It's, it's more watery. I yeah, think. it's a citrus in there, definitely. <clears throat> Listen, there are different types of fragrances. I, when I'm in the mood for something heavy, bold, if I'm in the mood for Antaeus, hairy chested, 80s masculine <laughs> but when i want a, an airy fragrance but that has personality that's something i'll reach for yeah hermenegillo zenia said that props to you <laughs> it's it's a tough name i got tongue tied even like <laughs> i'm sorry no offense mr zenia <laughs> <laughs> hermenegillo is there an, is there an english translation to that name it's not Ernie, it's is a it? name. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Like, you could say Ernie, I guess. It's like a lot of Greek names. It's Costas, but then in, in English, it's Gus. Oh, wow. It's like the weirdest okay. translation. <laughs> All right. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, the creative director uh, said that the freshness is supposed to be created using bergamot and violet. Now, I don't get violet. I'm not at all. I don't get violet. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, no, no violet. I don't get violet yeah. at all. This is pretty simple. It's 
for me, iris, not lipsticky or powdery iris, but kind of sort of yes, but not totally. Right. A gauzy incense and then an aquatic freshness. It's not my favorite fragrance. Mm. I'm going to tell you the truth. I was doing your best summer list and we both had the Aqua, Aqua de Bergamota on it. And when we were researching, I was like, oh my God, they just There's came out a new one. <laughs> As I was going home, I stopped off at the boutique and I bought it. I like it. I don't love it. I don't hate it. Okay. So I'm pretty neutral with this. I think, I think there'll be fans on this one. Oh, definitely. Absolutely. It has its particular style. I like it, but I think I would wear Dior en Parfum instead. Dior en Parfum is just a hard fragrance choice, my friend, I think. There's a lot of leather. It's leather. That one, I do think, is powdery. Yes. It's like a powdery leather. Hence the grandma comment. So, uh, <laughs> my abuelita. Coño, cara, tu abuela con mi abuelita. Yo no hablo español. But you understand abuelita, so, right? Solo poquito. Sí, comprendo. Comprendo? Is that a word? And all I know from Greek is papuzio. I work in papuzio. That's my line of business. It means shoes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's under 100. Yeah. 107 with tax. Not horrible. Not groundbreaking. But if you're a collector, you might dig this. Mm -hmm. I'm a collector, so mm -hmm. I don't mind it. Yeah. This yeah. would be like a day off for us. Like, just... Boosh, Go and do my thing, you know? Yeah, I could see and that. And smell, smell fragrant. It has a casual vibe, mm -hmm. um, but you can wear it at nighttime. The worst part of this review is it lasts only about two hours on my skin. Are you serious? Yeah, two hours, three hours max. I could smell it very faintly at the three hour mark. At four hours, it's gone. But it's a good four hours, you know? Yeah. So that's my take on this one. That's how I feel about it. Okay. Cool. You haven't yeah. tried it on skin, so you don't know, but... I haven't, no. But the smell is pleasant. Yeah, I mean, it smells great. Um, I like the sweetness. I like the fact that it's not too powdery. Uh, it's like a middle ground between Dior Homme and Dior Homme Parfum. Um, but for me, I like the extremes, you know? I do too. Actually, it depends on my mood. I, I have moods. I'm very moody, that Mr. <laughs> the fragrance lover. And this one just didn't do it for you. No, I, I'm happy I got it. Yeah. I'm happy I tested it, but is it one of my favorites in my collection? No, it's definitely not. But it, it, it doesn't suck, bottom line. It doesn't suck. I would love to share 10 mils with one of you guys. 10? Yeah, 10. Cool. 10 mil. This is a 100 mil bottle. They only come in one size. So uh, yeah, 10 mil. And all you have to do is subscribe to me, subscribe to Steven. Thank you. Like and share this video. Then leave one comment down below with what your favorite Zenya fragrance is. It's not Zegna. No, it's Just not kidding. Zegna. And that's... <laughs> you stumped me there, you the best. Zegna. Why is it sweet? No, I'm kidding. Somebody, somebody uh, gave me props. They're like, oh, I'm proud of you for calling I it saw, Zegna. I actually saw that. I actually saw that. I kid yeah. you not. Oh, uh, yeah. So, Zegna. All right, Brooklyn Ferguson, Red Lessons. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care.